Hey guys, so I am I'm headed back up to those places that I applied to on Friday. I should have gone yesterday, but I just couldn't do it yesterday. I don't know. Just went home. I got changed. Could try to do my hair, which didn't work out that great. Um, and some makeup, so I'll look presentable. Headed back up to Winn Dixie and Rainbow. Um, to check in with both of those managers. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of my driver's license and social security card like the lady was telling me at Rainbow. I don't know if she meant like after I start working I need to bring that in but I'm going to go ahead and write it into her anyway. I still have not heard back from her so I kind of just want to put my face back in her face again. Um, I think she did actually say that we're going to have to wait for a background check to come through so maybe that's why I haven't heard from her but either way I don't want her to forget about me so I'm going up there just so to be like, hey, don't forget about me. <laughs> it's official, guys. I suck at life. I went into Rainbow, asked if Vicky was there. She's off till Thursday. Thursday, I need to go back up there. And then, so while I was making copies, I made copies at Winn-Dixie, which is where I need to talk to Roy. And while I was getting copies, I asked the lady if Roy was there. And I was going to come back over here and ask to speak with him when I was done. Well... I walked in the store and chickened out and walked right back out like and then I almost walked back in because I tried to force myself to do it and then I couldn't so because I couldn't remember if he said to come back up there after I had filled out the application or to call and let him know so he could take a look at the application I kind of feel like I should have gone in that way there would have been more of a chance for him to just like interview me on the spot but what if he was really busy and like I was annoying and this is where all my anxiety comes from I just feel bad like I, I feel like I should have just gone in there but <sighs> telling you I can only do so much that's why I was saying it was such a huge huge help when Eric was with me the other day and I know that he shouldn't have to be with me I am an adult I am a grown woman I shouldn't need a chaperone to go job hunting I realize this but truth the truth of the matter is is that I have I have issues and I need help sometimes and I did what I, I could do I also did an application today for O'Reilly's which was another one of the stores that I went into on Friday maybe when I go up Thursday to Rainbow I'll stop in their store and uh, let them know that I did my application there all right, so I'm sitting outside of Applebee's and Starbucks because when I got back to the hospital where Eric's working, there's this little tiny parking lot that I've been parked in for the last two weeks, but there's so many construction workers there now that there's no spaces. And Eric's like, just pull up behind somebody because it's going to be lunch in like 35 minutes. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to just pull up behind somebody's vehicle. I mean, what happens if they have to get out? Plus, every time I pull in there, there's like 15 construction worker guys standing around and they like eyeball me the whole time I'm driving around. Like they think that maybe I'm like, um, I don't know, somebody trying to park at the hospital because I'm going to the hospital and you're supposed to have a parking permit to, per to park in there and I don't have one and like I just, I don't, I can't do it. I need to call the guy from Winn-Dixie. I need to do that but I'm afraid he's going to be like, well, can you come in for an interview right now? And I'm going to be like, no, even though I said I have complete and utter open availability, I can't come in right now. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. So maybe I'll just wait till after lunch. I'm such a failure, man. I'm such a... <sighs> okay, now I'm doing chicken legs for dinner. They're going to marinate. And then I'll add potatoes and onions. All right, in the fridge they go. I feel like I could get more flavor in there if I just marinate it. Tell me if I'm wrong because I don't really know how to cook. I'm just trying this stuff. I haven't looked up anything or anything. I'm just going with what my gut's telling me to do. I got a few more magazines in the mail and a pinch me box today. I got the magazines yesterday. Pinch me box today, so I figured I'd go ahead and open this. All right, coupon for Sensodyne. Another coupon for photo book. Thrive Market, I've heard a lot about this. The guy from Vampire Diaries, you know, the cute one. He's part of that. All right, fruit. Raspberry chia, nothing but fruit. That'll be interesting. I 
don't usually like things like that. Real fruit bites. Hmm. We'll give it a shot in just a second. Pure leaf tea. Green tea with mint. That'd be nice to try. And Sensodyne. A little squishy. I actually really, really, really like this toothpaste. Um, I just started using it not too long ago when I got it as a free sample. Not, a, not even a sample. I got a full size tube of it. And it's been helping me out a lot. I'm not just saying that because I wouldn't. A lot of things claim to do it. And, I mean, it's not perfect, but it has definitely been helping. So, I definitely recommend, recommend, I recommend this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they're good. Is it like, they, like fruit snacks? They're just kind of tart. Like, oh, oh, they're just a little tart. It says all, all natural, nothing but fruit. Mmm, they smell kind of good. I like that. They look like dog treats. They're not. They're people treats, I promise. <laughs> Alright, I got a little handful here. Let's give them a shot. I usually don't like things like this. I actually really like the flavor. The little crispy seeds in them. It's not that bad. If you can eat a Fig Newton, this is less crunch. I really do like the flavor. There you go. That's a better image for you. Thanks, pinch me. And uh, I guess the brand is nothing but fruit. Very cool. So this is ready to go in the oven. I let it marinate for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm not exactly sure. And it's it marinated in the um, balsamic vinaigrette. I cut up some red potatoes and some onions. I also threw in some garlic and a little bit of rosemary because Eric likes that. Um, some salt and pepper and a full stick of butter because we love butter in this house and butter makes everything taste better. So <laughs> you can, uh, you know, you can, you can change it up a bit if you decide you want to do it. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but so this is going in the oven for about an hour to hour and a half, uh, depending on how it looks. I'm going to cover it in aluminum foil, bake it at 425. I'll check it at about 45 minutes, see how it looks. And then I may take the aluminum foil off for the last um, 10 minutes or so to get it a little crispy, if that's what I decide I want to do. And I will show you what it looks like when it's done. One thing I forgot to mention is that I do put water in there also to help keep it nice and moist and the water and the balsamic vinegar and the butter they all mix well together and just make it very juicy. Let's check on the chicken shall we? I was just cutting an onion so I got uh, I got makeup all over myself. I wasn't crying I promise. Um, so here's mama chicken it looks like she's only got three babies today so she lost one somewhere. I was wrong one was hiding she still got all four <laughs> hey oh what is this what is that what happened here? Someone just decided to lay an egg in the middle of the yard. Weird. You know who this belongs to? Anybody you know? Maybe you could call a friend, ask them. Okay. Well, that's really weird. Um, they don't usually do that. I would eat it, but... I don't know how long it's been out here. Hello chicken, is this your egg? It's a little pointy, so it makes me think it's like small and a little on the pointy side, which makes me think it's someone who's relatively new to lay. Oh look, they finally cut up my log. This huge tree branch has been out here since the hurricane. You guys remember the hurricane? And the, the landlord has just left it here, but it looks like it got chopped up today. Ooh, a caterpillar! Hello, caterpillar! Hello! You're so cute and fluffy! Oh my goodness! Want some egg? It's delicious. I think that would make some good firewood. I'm gonna set them up on the porch so they don't, um, 
haul it away on me. Yeah, I wish I knew how old this egg was. Actually, I can test that. If you put it in water and it sinks, it's still good. If it floats, it's bad. So, I'll probably do that. First, I'm going to candle it to see if it's fertile, if there's any um, veins or anything in there. And if I don't notice anything, hmm. I don't know. I just bought a carton of eggs, so I don't really need it. Maybe I'll make a nest on the porch and put this in there, and it will encourage the... Hi, Toby. I don't know how to work this thing yet. That didn't work at all. It will encourage the other chickens to lay there. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. There's nothing in there. Hi, Toby. <laughs> That's some nice wood there. If we ever decide to do a fire, that'd be nice. I like the way it sounds. Can you hear that? Nice texture. I don't know if you can see it in this light. But I like it. I like it a lot. What a weird thing to do video about wood. Found this under the brush. What is this? Where did that come from? I think I'm gonna plant it. See what happens. I'm not seeing anything. Now the water chest. It's a good egg. If it sinks, it's still good. If it floats, it's bad. That's what that means. Here, what is this? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Why is it in here? Because I just found it. And I wanted, I don't know what it is. I thought you had so many more than this. I feel like we've been buying these for three years. No, I, only, I ain't got many silver eagles. I only got 11 silver eagles. I just feel like we've... I don't know. I thought we had a lot more than this. He's trying to get this type set of silver eagles, and I thought that he had... I don't know. I thought he had more than this. And also, several times that we've gone, we did not get a 2009 or 2012 because we thought we had them already. So... We finally wrote them down so we can get what he needs. And I didn't realize they only started making them in 86. Mm. Had no idea. So the year my sister, sister was born is when they started making those. Isn't that nice? I don't know. I don't know what time I put this in. It's just like... Alright, so there's no pink in there, so it looks like it's done. But it's still just a little... Um, tough I guess is what you'd call it like it would be a bit chewy so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back in there and let it cook for another probably 10 to 15 minutes and it should take care of that but it smells so good all right there it is all plated up looks pretty good now it's time for the taste test good morning everybody <clears throat> actually it's afternoon <clears throat> mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Um, I found a parking space in a parking garage at this job that I was complaining about yesterday, not having anywhere to park. I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday, typical, but I did want to tell you how the dinner turned out. It was magnifique. It was so good. The vinegar and the butter just worked so well together and it made the it almost made the onions in there like caramelize 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 it was really really good I didn't want to stop eating it we actually brought it for lunch today actually no we didn't we were gonna bring it for lunch today and then we couldn't figure out how we we're gonna heat it up so we just brought the chicken salad for sandwiches again which is fine it's fine 
I don't really have a recipe for what I made last night. I kind of just go with, like I said, I just kind of go with my gut um, and just add things in whatever amounts until my brain says, all right, that's enough. And it seemed to be working. You try that. Let me know how it turns out for you. I've done it with chicken breasts and drumsticks now. I prefer the drumsticks. Eric prefers the chicken breast. But either way, it's really, really good. So I actually really enjoy cooking. I just don't feel confident in it because I've never really done it. And I don't really know how things work together and stuff like that. So the only thing I did look up was at what temperature I should be cooking the chicken at. So it turned out really well and I'm, I'm quite proud of myself um so yeah i guess i'm gonna i'm gonna close up this is me closing out the vlog that's what i'm trying to get at um i did call the guy from Winn dixie over and over and over again yesterday and this morning and it gives me the option to reach the customer service desk but every time i do that they say that there's no one available press zero to be directed to the receptionist and then no one ever picks up the phone at the receptionist desk, whatever that is. So I'm just going to have to go back up there, apparently. And um, tomorrow's Thursday. Hopefully I'll hear from the lady from Rainbow. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start looking for more options, which is very disappointing because I was I was super excited about that job. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and for spending the day with me. And I will see you next time. Bye.